Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. Now, as you've probably got from the thumbnail, we're just going to be looking at a load more builders um, in this episode. They're all going to be four galaxies. The galaxies are one of my favourite sort of American cars throughout the years and they're certainly definitely one of my favourite model kits. Um, hence why I have so many of the, of the things. We're not even going to look at them all today. There's, there's ones which I've just set aside, you know, which I've built in the past and I'm, I'm just not going to include those because it's there's too many as it is like but yeah it's going to be a long video we're going to see but there is a, a lot of old stuff in here mixed in with a, some of the newer stuff might be things which you haven't seen before or you didn't even know existed so it's worth having a watch because there, there is some nice little bits and pieces in here um I do appreciate that you know over the last couple of months um I have been a bit lacking on my videos, but unfortunately that's just my life circumstances and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to go into it any further than that, but you know, I appreciate everybody, who, all the friends of the channel and who, who stick by us and, and stay subscribed and all the new people who join us, uh, who are constantly finding the videos, you know, it's, it's greatly appreciated, but... You know, without further ado, we're just going to need to get into these because, like I say, we've got a lot to look at. I'll probably do them in model year, like um, from 50s to, to 70s, so to speak, in, in order just to keep things flowing a little bit so we're not going back and forth. But, yeah, this I think this is the, the oldest one I've got. Um, it's an AMT promo, already starting to to get a bit of a warp i mean i paid nothing for this thing probably four quid or something like that nobody else was interested it was on ebay i don't think anybody showed any interest and it's, it's probably because you know you just can't do anything with them like once they start booing but i always see these as nice little part stoners in case i find a an old smp kit or something but yeah this is a obviously a 59 galaxy you know, it is a shame that it's starting to go on the front because from here backwards, it's it's not too bad. Everything's sort of straight on the back. All the chrome's in nice condition and what have you. Um, you know, colour's quite nice on this one too, metallic green. But comes with tin base. I think this is a friction drive like so. One at ones they would have sold in the shops to kids like rather other than rather than being one of a dealership model, so to speak. But yeah, it's um, yeah, real shame. Like I say, that one's gone. But um, yeah, we'll we'll keep it aside. It's it's nothing I'd ever sell just for the fact that it's not really worth anything. And you know, it's a, it's a nice part stone. Like I say, but I could do a banger out of it or something like that. But I probably wouldn't even bother doing that. So it's to be quite honest with you. But yeah, I think that's the oldest sort of model year. Then, and then like I say, as we move on, there's going to be things from more recent times and this being one of them i mean saying more recent times this has probably got some age to it now this is one of the amt uh, masterpieces uh factory built kits uh, i think they did about i think they did six in the range um like a charger and 62 chevy and camaro and some other bits and pieces and and I had a mint one of these in, in, in box and I gave that one to my dad. My dad will still have that one now. But uh, anybody who hasn't seen a masterpiece kit, um, these are so nice. You know, they're so nicely put together, these things. Um, this one's a bit ropey. This came from um, a collection I bought in Germany that I spoke a lot about before. There's quite a few kits uh, in this lot that came from that lot in Germany. A lot of them got damaged, but I got such a good deal on them. And even though the guy was in absolute, um, whatever, uh, when when it came to speaking to him about it, I just couldn't be bothered following it up because I, I I knew I got a good deal anyway with with what was left, which wasn't broken. So, but yeah, I think this was by far the newest kit out of that lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you ever find a masterpiece, um. AMT kit, you know, definitely buy them because they're 100% worth it, you know, just like I say, so well put together. 
Um, they did like the pro shop series in the in the kit base where you put all pre painted from factory and you put them yourself uh, to get them you, together yourself. That these were all factory built. It's got a couple of missing headlamps on this one. Um, aerial's a bit bent on it, but you know, with a bit of a polish up, it's got a few marks here and there, like. So it's definitely not a mint one. This one, but. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever get rid of this one. Um, like I said, I've, I'd, I had another one. My dad's got that, and you know, if it, you just don't find them over here very often anymore. To be quite honest with you, so yeah, definitely keep that older that one. Um, and then we got this old Hubbly nineteen sixty. Um, chassis loose and everything like that there's screws in back of it but this is the 124th scale um hubbly kit four door i think i bought this one from from auction um it was on ebay for a, a good few years back and bought quite a lot of kits from same seller who was selling them all off like and but this is a really nice kit to be quite honest with you in all fairness, a couple of years ago when I bought it, or a few years ago when I bought it, was there a 124th? I could never see myself actually doing anything with it. But since I've been obviously building stuff on this channel and the two USACC builds have both been 124th, and they're my favourite builds of all time, you know, it's, um, you know, if I can see myself doing something like this nowadays, because uh, it'll probably go nice. And obviously be a police car this one uh it's been brush painted and what have you but it's still you know you could screw it together and hold it tight and put it on a shelf it's a nice old survivor that displays well and everything but but yeah you don't again another one you don't see many of uh, really nice roof line obviously four doors like I say one piece body um just gonna shove that in there like one piece body and on the side on this one's paint uh, unpainted in the original original green plastic and what have you say uh, but yeah i really wouldn't mind doing that one that's that's one i wouldn't sell it as well like i mean there's selling a lot of stuff at the moment i've sold 70 builders in the last four weeks um but it's all newer stuff like and i think it's over 70 builders actually there's there's getting close to 80 now like but it's good start clearing shelves and what have you and it means i don't have to include them in videos like this to be quite honest with you because i just had too much too much stuff and this is another hubbly one uh this was from that lot in germany um missing the glass but i think i have some spare glass somewhere for it and I've got some spare bumpers even though I mean they're really rough compared to these so uh, but yeah another hubbly one cracks uh crack shape for the american graffiti um 61 4 galaxy and yeah same sort of roof style and everything but i've been looking for them for the actual correct uh police decals for that American graffiti one and they're quite hard to find to be quite honest because they aren't just California ones or some weird state or something um, So you'll probably just end up a, a Mulberry police car with this one um, But again, yeah, it's, it's all pretty much complete. It's some weird weird filler thing something going on on sides, but again another 124th one which I've, I've Probably wouldn't have seen myself doing much with a few years back, but definitely would do now. And another reason why I wouldn't do a graffiti one out of this because, you know, as all of us have probably got a lot of projects in mind for graffiti cars, you know, they're all going to be 125ths. Uh, I mean, this will, these are absolutely huge compared to, to 120, 125th, really. I mean, Yeah, they're, they're a mile out, like, so you can't even display them. It's starting to look like that's a bit warped, but I think the bumper's just sitting loose, like, so. Yeah, it's uh, nice and straight, that one's, uh, 
But yeah, that'll probably probably be another police car with that one. Always have them set aside. I mean, I've had that that stuff from Germany for, for years, like, and here's another one from that collection I got. It's a 62 convertible. This was one that suffered a bit of damage, like, um, you know, when I bought them, they didn't have broken window frames or anything, but when this one came, it had a, a big bit missing out of the middle, but luckily this was one of the bits that fell in the ocean on the way home, over. So I managed to just glue that in place, and it'll be good enough until we restore it, but, you know, 62 is quite a, quite a rare kit, like, um, did add a hair top years ago, sold that on eBay. I think it was like sprayed pink or something. But yeah, regretfully sold that one. But again, I can't keep everything. And you know, it would have served a purpose at the time to pay some bills. But yeah, this is nice and complete. Um, as the up top, I'm not even going to try and pull that out because I know the, the whole thing will probably fall to pieces. But yeah, all bumpers there, stock stock and rear bumper. I mean, I've, I have actually got a full full parts. Um, I bought, like, a load of parts, and I have a full kit minus, like, all the stock, the body and the stock parts. So I've got all the custom parts, instructions, and stuff like that. But when I can be actually bothered, I'll pair them up um, at one point. But, um, yeah... It's not a curbside this or anything it's got the opening hood on the on those metal hinges but i can never understand how people actually get to work like that was loose already but um yeah that's what i mean that's why i don't even use them metal clips because you, you damage your paint and you know a bit of a vigorous close on that you know you you front grills flying off the round corner but yeah really always like the 62 a really nice shape and probably one of the rare ones to to come across is 62 like i mean not like the, the rest one the the next one's the 63 um you know the 63 has been churned out constantly of it I mean, in all fairness, we didn't see the 63 from the annual to, I think, the first issue of the 63 from the original 63 annual was um, the Prestige series kit, where AMC had started looking into the back catalogue after they found that the the annual thing was dying to death because cars were so rubbish and boring by, by the mid-80s, but they started looking into back catalogues and seeing what what tool in they can use i mean I, I can't remember another an issue before the prestige one after the annual and then ever since then it's just been constantly constantly churned out but it's definitely it's probably one of my favorite kits of all time is the the, the amt 63 back galaxy i think it's such a versatile kit you can do anything with them i've built a load of them um I probably got three or four on, on shells which I built in the past, which I am gonna show on this like say we're just gonna turn into a whole different thing. But you know this one I bought built up. I think uh, I did a, a bit of work on it. I think I did some silver trim and glued the wheels at a bit of an angle because in all fairness it's not it's a bit of a dull sheen to it, but it's a really nice clean builder. Um and I think at one point when I actually had a display case, I used to keep it in there, but you know, I don't have anywhere to d d display this stuff anymore. So stuff like this, I mean, these are the kind of things which I'm thinking, you know, potentially go on eBay, to be quite honest. You know, there's nothing else I could do to really improve that, to be quite I mean, yeah, I'm sure you could get the paint nice, but I've got, you know, they're so common, these kits, that... And I've got a ton of them in different states for, um, yeah, it does, it's pointless tearing apart somebody's already nice work and trying to do something yourself with them. But I'll pop that there. In fact, I won't pop it on top of the convertible. That'd just be stupid, wouldn't it? Um, even though these are all absolute dead. Very night, neat, neatly stacked in bags and what have, you, what have you. You know, it took me half an hour to take all these things out of the bags I have them in. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I think this was this was an old. Um, it's just falling up, falling to pieces. Is this thing? This one I built when I was in my late teens. Yeah, I think I was like 17 or 18 when I put this thing together. Maybe night. Yeah, I, I think 17 or 18. Uh, I painted in a Citroen Picasso pearl, which was on every every Citroen you saw around about in the in the, the mid to late 90s. Moulded in order the custom custom front and rear ends, the extended custom front and rear ends, but I glued the, the chrome rocker panel. There was loads of things I didn't I didn't like what I did with this one. And this ended up do being a donor for a for that sixty four or the six five Lincoln, sixty three whatever it was, the the box art build we did. But there was so much I wasn't happy with it. I mean it was all my kits while I was building at the time. And so many which I've I've got still. I'd paint the bodies and I the rest I just once I painted the body, completely lost interest in the rest of the build. So like with this one it was just everything sprayed. Yeah, sprayed one colour on, on the bottom. Interior sprayed the same colour. I mean I think I had some I was working it. Volkswagen I think at the time and I had some as a paint sprayer and I think this is Volkswagen Black Magic Pearl um, or Black Magic Metallic or something I just sprayed the interior and the chassis together and just slammed it all together in the end and and that's why I always paint my bodies last now one thing you know you're gonna get all your fitment issues sorted before you put your paints on and this has suffered a bit over the years, you know, I think um, I think I had something heavy stacked on this at one point. It damaged the paint on the roof and what have you, but, but yeah, I mean, I, I started being a paint sprayer. You can see what glue damage there, where I had them stupid chrome rocker panels glued onto it and what have you, but yeah, I was, I've, I've been a paint, I was a paint sprayer since I was 15, I think, you know, I started, I had a Saturday job at a pet pet store uh, Mawson's Pet Foods in York and and then I got a job with Volkswagen when I was 15 on Saturday so I had to do alternative Saturdays between the pet shop and and spraying and then I got after I left school sort of 16 I was straight into straight into a body shop like um, and I think I painted this one properly late 90s early early thousands you know big this is straight out of a spray gun uh, i think i had a sat jet at the time so you got a big rocker rocker dirt in there like because even though you know you're just doing it with other stuff like you just you still gotta do these things on sly and what have you but i don't think i was ever happy with with color it's like a, it was an orange and i put like a um Ceralix pearl uh tinta in the in like a clear and based over in yeah it was whenever whenever it's a hundred percent on colour and then yeah again you could see I just sprayed the I think this is probably Volts another Volkswagen or potentially Ford at the time I was working for so it could be Ford Diamond White, I don't know. I think uh, yeah I think I was at Ford when I did this one. Um, but yeah, I think I lost. You can see I lost interest. I sat. I, I moulded in the front and rear balances, like, and then projects haven't been touched since. I mean, I bought this brand new as the Midnight is Buyer's Choice issue when they first released that uh, re-released in in that original box art, the annual box art, but. Uh, anyway, I think I think that's the last sixty-three we got. Like say, I've, I've built a lot of them. I've got a couple unbuilt in boxes and what have you. But and then um, sixty-fours. Let's have a drink of water, like so I'm not gonna die. But yeah, I got a couple of the, a few of these sixty-four promos. All these were from that Germany lot. Um, 
I mean, I ain't, I ain't actually got the worst one here. The, the worst one's a, a, a brown promo convertible. And it is completely shattered. It's just like a, a load of glass in a bag. And I, I still haven't chucked it away because it's nice bumpers and what have you. It, I did mean to show it on this video, but it's in all I am in another room. Can't be arse walking away from camera. Um, but yeah, all the promos which I bought from which were in this lot got damaged on the way over. Um, I think the, the plastic's really brittle on these 64 promos. And like I say, the brown convertible, yeah, I'll probably show it in another video light, but yeah, they everything fuck, every, everything went on them like, so. Um, but I kept some more, you know. They're, they're still good for parts, and, you know, if I could be bothered, I think... Uh, how many have we got? We got this is another one. Molded in in red and I started repairing little bits from all the little fragments and what have you, but you know there's chunks missing. I think that chunk's actually in there. But yeah, there's chunks missing out of the roof and I started repairing what I could what was left over. I mean there's a couple of pillars in there. But yeah, another another common kit nowadays really, I mean. Back in the back in the nineties, I mean, first time we saw this one was in the blue printer box, and that was quite a rare kit at the time. Um, but yeah, they churned these out all the time. I mean, I got a, an unbuilt kit version of this with the opening hood and what have you. So, but yeah, I mean, I thought I'd keep all these ones. Um, I think this was the best of all three. This hadn't actually got any broken pillars. You can tell this was probably the blue printer kit. Moulded in white and what have you. Okay, it, it could be a bit older. I'm not too sure to be quite honest with you. But, um, but this is probably the best one. If that glass... I mean, I think I robbed the glass out of this one. The, for that um, box art build. So... We could probably piece all them together somehow like but let's move that aside <coughs> excuse me shove all them back out of the way and then we got 65s i mean 65 probably one of my favorite kits as well um i got a few here which other people have built and i all my nice built ones whether I've built them or other people have built them, I generally keep them in drawers away from all this stuff. But once things are started falling off them like this and need a few repairs, even though it's quite a nice build, this one. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. A few loose pieces though, and I think this one's been done with the, the boot, the opening boot glued shut and... But, you know, it's, it's a nice colour on it. Colour suits it. And they are a pretty kit, these. Really nice kit, these. I mean, I think I've got the, the wheel there. Like, I'll just pop that in there for a, for a second light. But, I mean, we've all seen the 60, 65 Galaxy, haven't we? But, I mean, I've got a few, like I say, I've got a few of them here in different guises. Um, again, like I say, this one's just a, a really nice cleanly built kit but it needs repairs and you know it'll always be kind of labelled as a bit of a builder that one so and then this one I have kept this one on, on shelves like and I don't know why I should really I think I'll probably separate this because this has been built as a curbside to be quite honest you know no engine in it bottom just painted black but yeah it's just a really another really nice build to be quite honest with your bonnets uh, the hood and the trunk are being glued shut on it. But this might be a bit of eBay fodder to be quite honest with you because again, just one which I think somebody will probably enjoy just displaying it as it as it is like with a bit of a bit of a polish up rather than because it's things like this I completely forget about having. Um, so yeah, I think of it. I mean, I've got. I just bought a big collection of unbuilt kits, so I ain't gonna be listening to any builders for a, probably another four weeks or something. But like I said, they've, they've been doing really well, to be quite honest with you. And 
I think, I mean, I asked like 15 quid each from something like that and seems a lot for a builder, especially to you guys in the States where you can go to a, a, a trade fair or something and pick them up for five dollars each or something, but you got to think over here, you know, retail is between like 35 and 50 quid. So if you've got an opportunity to to have something for 15 quid and do something else, do a, spend a bit of time working on it. And I think that's the only reason they're doing okay because, you know, in this climate, stuff like, you know, it's just, just do not sell, to be quite honest with you. But I'm, I'm doing pretty well, to be quite honest with with. Um, I have a lot of loyal customers and what have you, repeat customers, and you know they keep putting food on my table. Thankfully, so. But yeah, like I say, I've, I bought a I bought a collection of hundred kits, um, and that's really really why you know it's funny that I don't I don't have time to do this YouTube channel as much as I'd like to. But the irony of it is, I work with model kits, these things every single day in my life. So I thought when that collection comes in, I thought I'd probably do something with that. Um, it wouldn't be a day a day in the life of me, but I'll probably show you what I do with them, how I process them. I mean, I've been talking about doing that for a while, but I think this will probably be a nice opportunity to do that. Um, I'm just going to set that aside because I don't want that sitting underneath anything without a plastic bag on it. But yeah, I was thinking of... Um, you know, just showing how I process stuff and how I pack kits, you know, whether I'm selling them or not, you know, I, I hate a rattly box. Um, yeah, there, there's no kits of mine, which I put permanently on shelves, which, uh, which have loose parts of any kind in them whatsoever. But yeah, I think this is just another, another 65 really, you know, parts loose in thing and Again, another nice build I like, and yeah, this one's I think the only one with the the, the boot operating boot like. But um, yeah, you could tell somebody had done a, an okay job at this at one time. Pates probably just suffered over over years, probably built in eighties or something or or nineties maybe. It's just over time falling apart and. I have no idea where I bought any of these from. Then, like the, the rare ones, I kind of remember, but stuff like this, I, I have no idea. They would have just come in lots, and I would have just set them aside, you know. So with galaxies and what have you, but um, but yeah, just another nice builder, and it's kind of interesting that all these would would have been done by different builders with different styles and. It's interesting to see how each of them had sort of done them. But that is a nice one, that, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'd probably have to do something with that one, like, as in, sell it. Um, but this was the original first failed project galaxy. We've now got two failed project galaxies uh, to my name. Um, that's why I want to get that one which I started last year done probably next project just to 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 get it out of my mind because it's been bugging me since june when yeah things started going a bit tits up in my life like but that that project just ground to a, a solid halt like and I, I messed with it a bit but in in the meantime like but not not a great deal uh but this was the first one i did probably started that in the mid, mid 20s or something um got as far as cutting the wheel arches out but i just started with the wrong kit this i would started with the roughest galaxy i could find because I've, I've never radius the wheel arch at all before in my life so i just found the roughest one um and i just lost interest because you know everything else underneath it was a bit of a glue bomb like and i couldn't really work with it so that's why i had to start with a new kit on that one but that's that. Um, I think we're coming. Probably just bored of me yakking now, just talking nonsense. Like, as uh, and we're looking at kits which you can easily find. Like, but 
Um, this one not so much. This is a, an original um, convertible, 65 convertible. I had a mint annual uh, in the box, and it was just two mints. We honestly sold that about a year ago, to be quite fair. Kind of wish I didn't, but you know, like I said, said before that you know can't keep everything, and I think that was that was a definite bill payout would have been at the time. Like, but this is how I bought. I bought about thirty bodies. Most of the bodies were like newer kits, but there was this one random. I think there was one or two older. I think there was this one. An original 65 uh, Impala convertible and a, a, an old Warp Joanne 58 Cadillac um, out of the, the 30 bodies or something. So, um, so I set these ones aside. I don't know what happens at rest to be quite. I've probably sold them or I think I've got a load of junky ones on, on the shelf still. Uh, nothing I can do with them because they're too junky. I bought this just as it is, you know, body, interior, chassis, nothing else. And um, the whole frame is there. So we can repair that. <coughs> but over the years I've been like finding like uh, original instructions. I got a, uh, there's not too many parts which are different from our top. You got the convertible boots. So I found the convertible boots and pretty much got a, a complete parts kit to, for, to donor this and then I bought a collection of 60s stuff from eBay last week uh, some really nice pieces and there's some really unexpected pieces there was a um, I didn't know what it was it was like one of the pictures you could just see like the top of this convertible one this thing obviously but couldn't make out whether it was an Impala or what it was so I thought there might be a chance it was a Chrysler but I want I wasn't really pinning my hopes on it, but I couldn't really make out from... It's quite a low-down picture, and I, I couldn't really make out, but... The rest of the stuff made financial sense to me to buy and try and recover my money and keep the stuff I wanted out of it, but... Yeah, it turned out that convertible was a, a 65... Um, 65 Chrysler 300 convertible. I do it. It's really nice built. And I will show it in one video, like, but I don't do slash ads anymore. I've, I've stopped doing them. Just because it's pointless, because I'm half the time I'm just selling stuff anyway. So, um, but yeah, it was a really nice builder. I had custom front and rear ends, so unfortunately no stock bumpers. But yeah, I was really pleased with that one. Bit of a, bit of a surprise. And I think, uh, but yeah, they had a load of parts. And there was this brand new up top for a clear up top for a 65 galaxy convertible so uh, it's just another another missing piece like for that um it's not quite an hard part to get hold of like and like I say it's one of the few parts which separated the, the hard top and the and the uh, convertible tool in but and I think that's why I sold that other the, the mint kit because I had this thing and I had a load of parts for it and I thought well you know if I'm going to build one first, I'll probably struggle and build the, the ropey one. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of particularly throat. I haven't been well, to be quite honest. Last week, I was absolutely horrendous at work. Um, but going on 66s, we'll get through all this sort of mundane stuff. But, you know, some of these are, are not bad. Like, you know, this is a... And I've got... I can tell I backed these up years and years ago um, because nowadays I'd back up all this stuff in separate bags and sort of do it a bit neater. I mean, it'd all be in the same, same sort of bag, so to speak, but I'd put all the parts in separate bags. But yeah, this is an original um, 66 Galaxy convertible. You know, you can always tell the originals, but so you know, because there's some visors moulded to them and what have you. Um, yeah, this one even hasn't had the, the the body brace even cut out yet. Like, it was just something that somebody started. Frame's a bit broken, but it's not beyond repair. You know, it's all there. It's all straight and what have you. Just needs the pillars, really. Um, 
these side pillars gluing in and what have you a bit. Yeah, so that's, that's a nice one, another nice one. We've got another up top for that, to be quite honest with you. So I think if I try and shove that in, it's just going to push all my parts out because the, I think the, the, the chassis is glued to, to this one. So, and I think I always keep this stacked with the, the windscreen kind of supporting it, just in case something sits on top of it, like, so it's not going to completely break that that windshield frame off because it's very repairable at the moment and I don't want it not to be but but yeah that's quite a nice another nice little convertible that one I'm gonna just pop that there while we go on to the next one and this one I ain't even bother taking out because there's so many loose bags this is a I believe this is a I bought this is um somebody else had started making a convertible out of the out of the coupe line that's the original hood and they've just They've uh, fabricated some some vibes. You can tell they aren't very. Yeah, they're nothing like the kit. Some visors, but and then I don't know, started farting about with it and putting. It's going to make a custom out of this one, so I put the custom front balance on it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'd say it's coming out from a bit of a rough session, to be quite honest with you. Uh, yeah, I mean that's just a good example of the somebody's uh, cut down conversion from a from a coupe and, and obviously to an original like. So. But yeah, we'll just stack them up. Um, I would just like to say we've got a couple of these sixty sixes. Like I mean, like I say, I'm not even showing you all the galaxies I've got. It's just. These are the ones which are together on shells as proper builders like so uh, and this is um this is a project started at the same time as I started the project uh sixty five galaxy years ago and I was gonna do a sixty five uh sixty six and a sixty three it's obviously the sixty six so I've radius the wheel arches on this one as well like and um yeah, this was going to be a bit of a, a bit of a drag car as well, but the sixty three ended up donating uh, its roof and some other bits and pieces to that to that box art build. So that one's long gone now. Even though I, I I've kept what what was left over from that one, but yeah, that was uh, like I say with all this stuff in back, we're now losing focus and everything. So. But I've kept that one aside because you know maybe maybe one day I'm if I. If I can even finish that 65, I might do the 66. And then another example from Germany a lot. I mean, I think this one was actually broken, had the roof missing in the pictures when I when I bought that lot from Germany. But then when it came over here, the sides were completely broken off. You know, you can see where I've started repairing this one. Completely pointless because the roof was missing, but I think just to have it sat on the shelf and not in a bag of bits slide out of a 64 convertible yeah i started roughing up and just sat and gluing the body panels but you can see i mean there was the front end was separate to all middle pieces the rear end was separate and but it's got some nice dated bumpers on that one that's why i kind of kept this one and you know i think um i, don't, I think they kind of lost i can't remember if, if they did take it off the later ones or not I think they did uh, I mean speaking of a later one we got another one here like um, I'll just scrape that off give myself my answer now like um, yeah so this they did remove the, the dated bumpers on the later issues like I don't think much else changed in the bumpers really other than that to be quite honest with you I think well obviously these have got the molded in Molded in headlamps, which I actually prefer to be quite honest with you. Um, to the to the lenses, in all fairness. Yeah, sorry. Like I say, we just look because we've got so much stuff behind now. All we're doing is looking at blurry, blurry model kits, like. But but yeah, I mean, and, and then we got this one, obviously, which is a pretty clean builder, to be quite honest with you, but. It is a builder. There's too much wrong with it, but you couldn't 
I mean, you could display it on, on the shelf as is, like, and, um, yeah, and just be happy with it. But, yeah, it's it's obviously had the, the glass panel glued in with, with uh, like, Humbrol cement, and that just, I've, I've had it happen to a couple of my nicer builds, to be quite honest. I've glued in the, the centre of the glass, um, with the wrong glue in it just over years it just starts bowing the roof and distorting the roof hence why i really rarely use i mean i use pretty much super glue for a, for a great deal of stuff now to be quite honest with you um i mean i use model glue when i need to use model glue but you know for, for a lot of applications i will use super glue to be quite fair um yeah that We've all seen six sixes, you know, that was a another that green box issue from the from the mid eighties was always a holy grail kit of mine. Um I got that and then it's been released a mid, million times after I finally found one of them them green box kits and just like the sixty fives, like the sixty threes since since the mid 80s you know everything's just been churned out a million times which was on a, a regular reissue sort of schedule so and then um 67s i mean i've got in all fairness i got how many box kits i've got three of these well i've got two box kits and then gary I, I think gary sent me i can't remember which one gary sent me to be quite honest with you but um yeah i can't remember which is which like but yeah i've got one with mint kit with i think this is the mint kit with the, the prime body um everything else is just completely untouched with it but yeah, I've got three of these things, um, or three boxes now anyway. It's like I say, this is the mint kit. I'll just quickly show you this like, because it's a... Uh, I think these are quite sort of after kits to be, and in all fairness, not one of my favourite years of the Galaxy. Um, but I think it's a lot of people's favourite years. Constantly seeing people whining to write round to in comments saying re-release that, why don't you re-release it, even though the tooling's long gone like, but... And then a... Uh, Round two are doing a lot with um, scanning to bring out old kits and what have you, but people just think tooling stays around forever, but this obviously changed into the 68, which changed into the 69, and that's why, why I, I kind of put my head in my hands when people get, when they, I've seen some really irate comments on it, it's starting to annoy me a little bit at, at one point, that's why I really don't bother with Facebook a great deal anymore. Um, kind of people don't want to learn the history but and yet they show such ignorance in comments sometimes and it's just it really just really frustrates me and i'm gonna stop talking about it but yeah i think uh, i've got a builder in here and I, I think this is the one which gary sent me and it's got a couple of nice um other kits in there which i'll show at some other point um so yeah, thank you Gary for, for sending that through like. Um But in all fairness in, in up until recent, yeah, I've only had one of these things and then I found another one quite recently. Seller was an absolute arsehole, I will say that. Absolute arsehole he was. Um so if you're watching and you know who you are, you're an arsehole, mate. Um because yeah, I bought the kit, he wouldn't post it, paid him straight away for it. But he started selling other stuff on eBay and I noticed he was bidding up all his other stuff. Like, um, he put it on with, with Buy It Now, it was really ridiculous Buy It Now. This, the Galaxy I bought from him was the only one with it. With like a reasonable price and I thought, you know, it's got a painted body and everything. It needs a bit of repair. So I primed it, I've repaired that now, primed it and all that, carry on but yeah he's asking like ridiculous ridiculous amounts for for really run-of-the-mill stuff or stuff which have been started or stuff with real big problems and i noticed that 
every single item he had. It, it was getting built, bidded up from about two or three accounts with zero feedback. And all the while this is going on, you know, he still hasn't paid. It's like two weeks, and I know he was trying to sell that kit for out for for more elsewhere. Like, um, I don't know if people have emailed him asking about it because he kept the post on Facebook as well for for weeks. Like, but I was covered by eBay, but I, I was just de determined that I was going to get that kit off him, and and I didn't want to deal with him. But, but yeah, anyway, um. So yeah, I kept on seeing all these kits he was outbidding himself on reappear on eBay and now he's trying to sell them on Facebook as well. I mean, I think some of them sold, um, but I've seen a lot on Facebook again. So yeah, if you are watching, mate, you are an absolute prick. Um, but I finally got the kit in and I don't know why I'm showing that thing now. I don't even know why I'm showing that thing. Going off on such a tangent about an absolute arsehole. I'm sorry to keep on using that word, but it was. Um... But yeah, this was the only 65, uh, 67 builder I have left. I used to have a couple of promos. I had a, red, a promo in red and I had a promo in yellow. That might have been a kit which was painted yellow. I can't remember now. But, um, but yeah, this, this is... Um, I, think it's, well, I think it is a resin body rather than a conversion just because the bomb backs up bumpers. Yeah, you can tell the, the sort of resin... Pressing chrome bumpers. <coughs> and this is, I, to be honest, I really struggled to find this reference to this anywhere, to be quite honest. I can't remember who, who did the body. Um, but it's a really nice conversion. I think he's probably using the, the roof from the 70 Inceptor. Um, which I don't think is 100% correct. Um But it's a really, it, you know, I can't, I, I think I got this one from America. I think one of the last kits I imported, and I think I bought this as a, a single kit as well. So when I used to import a lot of stuff, it was always in bulk sales and what have you. But, but um, yeah, this, this went for enough money that I could justify the shipping and and the customs charges and it wasn't one expensive to be quite fair it didn't go for a lot of money i don't know why uh but yeah it's got front and rear bumpers and what have you and i think the chassis i think the chassis is from a kit of some kind probably a 63 galaxy or something like that maybe um i think that's just uh no idea it might be a bootleg panel or something but yeah, but I, the project I had in mind for this one was um, a sunshine cab from the, the Bullet film. So they, they used uh, 6, 7 Galaxy 4 doors for the, for the taxi cabs in that film. And to be quite honest, it's just another case of finding some... I mean, I know there's, it's quite easy to find people now to, who can make you whatever decals you want and what have you, but... It's just it's just finding time, and then if you're doing just one order or something, it's, I can imagine they're not cheap. Yeah, it'd probably be twenty quid just for a couple of door decals or something like that, and that's when you start putting expense into your builds. Where I really I'm I'm a tight Yorkshire man, so I really don't like to do that too much. But I mean, I'm gonna have to at some point because you know that that's the project for if I had in my mind for this one. Uh. Nothing else I want to do with it, to be quite honest with you. It's going to be a nice taxi cab. Um, I've got some nice bumper, original AMT spare bumpers and what have you. I've pretty much been saving six, seven parts for the last eight years, ten years or something. So uh, got a fair old few parts for 67s and what have you. But yeah, definitely, definitely something you don't see every day, this one. And like I said, I think it's pretty rare resin kit, and I think it's... I can't even think who did it. Uh, I think I found out at one point, and then I've completely forgotten over the years since I've, I've bothered to to find that out. Like, but it uh, could be all American models or something like that. One of, one of the, the, the better kit uh, company, uh, resin kit companies, I would have thought. Um, so it's probably worth a bit of money, that now, even in its... In its rough state, like I mean, saying rough state, it's just been 
it's been cleanly put together like and but yeah something you don't see every day and that's definitely if i end, only end up with 100 kits or something i mean i have really been signed with selling everything off to be quite honest with you keeping like like say 100 kits to myself which seems a lot still i mean but when you've got as much as i do and it's 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 not a great deal and but not to have the stuff in your face all the time you know um having to look at stuff every day and but unfortunately that's me i was saying unfortunately it's the, it's the, the what i chose to do in life like you know i had a, a successful a successful career and chose to leave that no regrets whatsoever with that to be quite honest with you uh, certain reasons I left that company and um, wanted to go down a different route but moving past that um, another nice old rare one you would have seen Gary uh, Gary Knight um, on his channel uh, just did an unboxing on one of these uh, a box which you know he had a pretty much unbuilt kit and you know I did have that, I've still got, I've got the other kit down here, which I've, I've given him the box to a builder I had, or a started kit I had like, and, um, but yeah, this is, um, 68 Galaxy, another rare kit, um, at one point I bought three of these, or, or within six months, from different sellers, and they were all built like this, and I sold two of them, um, Just because, I mean, I do like the 6, I mean, the 68 is a favourite of mine, but only because I like the 68 uh, for custom 500, the Vardar. Always wanted to do a Gone in 6 Seconds one. Um, like the old uh, white one they used to drive about in, in the original film. But, um, but yeah, I, I, when I sold it, I mean, I, I did want to keep one to myself, like, and... So I kept this one. I, I can't remember. I think this was like it wasn't the, the nicest, but it wasn't the roughest. So uh, I went for intermediate ones to keep for myself. But really nice shape. Like this would have been the Frog AMC one, just like Gary's. I would have thought. Um, you know that comes with the same decals and everything. So, uh, but yeah, it's quite a nice kit. Was this one? You know, separate chassis to the to the floor pan and stuff like that so um so yeah i probably have, i don't know what i'd do with that one never liked them as stock cars there to be quite honest with you so it wouldn't be a stock car but maybe a mild custom i think i think chrome versus like a, a, a late 60s early 70s street custom would be nice for this one really would like to to do it with the, with headlamps uh, rather than the enclosed grill I, I think that was one thing I didn't like about the galaxies I didn't like the enclosed headlamps on them I always like preferred the preferred the look of yeah headlamps on on these cars rather than an enclosed folding headlamps but yeah all parts are there got both tail lights which is your most important thing really but yeah that's a, a nice old rare on that <coughs> and this was the other one I had, you know, I'm not taking it out of the bag. This was the one which was originally in box. Um But this has got broken pillars on. This was gonna be the one I was gonna um convert into a four door if I ever got round to it. Um and this was a complete kit, mostly unstarted as well, very much like Gary's, but you know, because he had a broken body and, you know, I really wanted Gary to complete that kit he had, to be quite fair. So I think the other thing I did for him, I think I traded, uh, traded, I think his bumpers were really rough or something and this chrome on this one's quite nice. So I sent him um, the front and rear bumpers. Uh, I think he's going to send me other ones back at some point, but... You know, this this won't get touched in that, so I'm certainly in no rush for them like, but but yeah, I can't I think there's a, maybe a few other bits and pieces, you know, I'll just get him out this one, but yeah, we're just gonna do this is gonna be the Vardar when I actually 
get round to it because I was uh, missing Link did a really nice Galaxy four door. Um, he did yeah he did sixty eight through seventy one seventy two I think he did, and they're at really reasonably priced for the quality of his stuff. I think he was asking like sixty quid or something for for his resin bodies at the time. And that was cheap for even back then, I felt, for, for what he was offering. And then I thought, it was always a case of, I'll, I'll go back to it, I'll go back to it, I'll order a couple of bodies. Um, And I just never got round to it. And then, of course, you know, he just doesn't do them anymore. You know, I think he does, he, I think he's, he has a, like, Facebook page, doesn't he? And um, I need to see some out cells the odd part here and there but i don't think i mean i think he does the occasional body um but nothing to to what he used to do to be quite honest with you and a bit of a shame i mean i did actually ask the chap and yeah it's quite abruptly told he doesn't do him anymore so yeah that was the end of that like but yeah and like i say so you got the, the 67 and then the six, i think that's why the only reason i bought these and i in all fairness, I don't buy new kits anymore. I just I, I can't afford them to be quite honest with you. I think they're even though round two are bringing out some really nice stuff, you know, I've got I've, I can't justify spending 40 50 quid on a kit at the moment. Um, but these were these came in and I just had the opportunity to buy a couple of these. Uh, I think they're under 30 quid posted. Uh, I don't actually. I think, I think the seller actually put an error in the in the pricing because I noticed about a day later they've gone up by a tenner like so. Um, but yeah, while they're under 30 quid posted, I've, I've got myself a, a couple of these like uh, the, the 70, the 69s, which obviously the 67, the original 67 uh, got turned into 68 and that. That turned into the 69, and funnily enough, I remember a conversation with Gary. Um, we were talking about, I think we were talking about the 68 Galaxies when we were sorting out, having to get that, getting that box over to him at some point. Um, and I remember saying to him, yeah, I think we are talking about Galaxies, and I said, you know, it's about time 69 got re-released. It's been a while since they've done that one. Um and I think it was a week later, AMT announced that they were bringing out that one. So, uh, yeah, it's funny how funny how things happen like that. But I don't, I don't think I really got anything else to show. To be quite honest, as you'll be, you know, approaching an hour. You know, I think obviously, I think the last one I've got is just don't have any builders of these anymore. Uh, sold all my builders of the seventy Galaxy Interceptor. Uh, this is just an original. Um, round two re re released it in this box out. This was a lot of people's grail kits for a, a long time. Was this one? Uh, Hobby Evan bought it out, didn't they? In the was it late eighties, early nineties, or something like that. And I, I think that one was sold like hot cakes. And but yeah, I always I always remember seeing this box out on in that magazine which I, I just stared at for ages at that chap's collection and always remember seeing one of them and that was one i really wanted i've got a couple of the round two issues on the shelf as well like but yeah i just picked up this because you can pick these up the same same price if not less than um a round two one now to be quite honest with you i think this in the air i think this was cheaper than a, a round two one to be quite fair um so it just goes to show how how a once very very sought after expensive rare kit um it's now turned into something you can get for for less than retail price on a new kit so yeah i mean i don't, I don't think there's anything else i mean i think we missed out a few things i was going to show you this um when we we're looking at the 60s but that was like an hour ago now um i don't even know because it's a I think this one's a pretty mint kit to be quite fair. Um Craftsman kit. Yeah, I think I think this is an absolutely mint kit, but when I bought it I had no no chrome tree in it. So I think I think I've been holding out to to find some chrome for that one. Um I 
think I may have even seen it in another auction because this was from that chap who just sells off that, that chap's other chap's collection and every now and again and you'll see bits and pieces in other auctions and I may have I think I may have seen it in another auction but I, I think the only reason I wouldn't have bought that, the, that for the chrome probably went too much for whatever else it was included with but but yeah I think that's about it to be quite fair I don't think there's anything else to look out we've looked at a load of galaxies wasted another hour of your time I'm not even going to take photos of these to put at the end to be quite honest with you um yeah I spent I think we spent enough time looking at them but you're bored of them already so and I find that adding photos really does take a put a chunk on your upload time and all that carry on it puts a chunk on how I loosely say uh, edit these videos whereas with this I can just pin a couple of photos either end um slap it on pretty much and that's why I don't don't stop through through these videos I mean I've been yakking for an hour now throat's absolutely killing Still waiting on my cars in garage likes. Um, I'm waiting for them to call. I thought I'd do this is the reason I'm doing this video because I'm kind of kind of just wanting to fill my time before before my car's ready and I've got to go to the other side of York to, to pick that up like so. So if you have stuck around till the end, really appreciate you watching the video. I appreciate you sticking around in my absence. Um I'll do my very best. That's all I can say is I'll do my very best to try and get more regular videos up i think i think why i've been a bit hesitant lately is just because you know it, it's going back to the reason why i started the channel was to to get me back building and because i hadn't had the time to build and i'm you know them escorts have, have been so close for god knows how long that if i can't even find time to do them that you know i think it's starting to to bug me a little bit for if i'm not building and you know what's the point in channel and what have you but yeah, I suppose we can bring you stuff like this and like I say, it's uh, stuff that people might not have seen and people might find interesting to, to just, despite me waffling on throughout the video, you know, I mean, to, you, you still get to see a few nice old bits and pieces here and there mixed in with a, a few more common kits and what have you say. So, yeah, with that, um, once again, say thank you to, to everybody who supports the channel, and we will see you in the next video. Okay, see you, bye.